Hey, so you're wondering what's an easy mitt work combo that you can learn at home with a partner doing mitts? I'm gonna break it down for you. So I like to do a jab cross, slip bob and weave into a hook cross and a kick. This is what it looks like. Let's do it. All right, so now let's break down the technique and exactly what I'm doing so that you can practice at home. So first of all, you've got a mitt holder. Whenever you're working with mitts, it's really important that you do what's called feeding the mitts, which basically means he's catching my hands as I throw it. So first thing, I'm starting off with that jab. To create more power, I like to add in a, a step to that. We call that an extended step. So um, Miss Sam, if you're grabbing this right here, I'm stepping in right here, just extending it out to get that power. Then I'm gonna throw the cross. I'm sitting down on that punch, meaning I'm not tall. I'm coming down into the punch, covering my face because I don't want to get clocked with a punch or kick that might be coming that way. But instead, he's bringing in a counter. When that counter comes in, I'm moving out of the way. So I'm doing what's called a slip, all right? So if I was firing in a jab cross at him, his first move might be a cross or a jab. And then I want to get underneath the very next technique. So in order to get underneath it, I did my slip, my shoulders up. I'm coming underneath with that bob and weave. So I got out of the way. My body is already primed for a power shot. Okay, so I'm in this position. Now I can rip back with that hook. Now how do you make your hook more powerful? A lot of people, when they throw that hook, will come here and their hand will be in front of their elbow. But in order for me to really get the power that I need, I want to keep my hand as tight as I can in my body, and I want to support my shoulder. This is not a very good position to su support my shoulder. I've only got so much power here, but I've got a lot more power with my shoulder. So in order to support that, I push my elbow out and I pull my hand back towards me, just like this. So I was from here, boom, I threw that hook. Now I'm primed again, the hand transitions to cover, and I fire my cross back in. Okay, so I went from this position, throwing that hook, to coming back with the cross. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm already primed again, is I'm gonna add in that kick for the kickboxing element. So I'm pivoting, and then I'm chambering, and then throwing my kick. Now that kick could go to the head, like what we're doing here. You could also throw it to the body. You could even throw it to the leg. You know, if I was in here and I threw the cross and I wanted to come back, I could just hit him in the leg instead or if I threw the cross, because we gotta think about what we're doing. We're trying to get that person's hands up, right? Maybe he's covering you know, his head. Then I can, boom, I can hit it right into the body as well. But for this case, I like bringing it back to the top and then throwing it to the head. So I went from here, I pivot and lean away, knee comes up, and then I'm executing that kick over the top. Most important part of the kick is that you pivot, you turn that body so that way your hips can widen, your hips can open. I have a lot more flexibility here than if I do here, right? It just doesn't work so good for my hip to get the power in for that round kick. So as I pivot, my knee comes up and then I fire in that kick. So again, the whole combo looks like this. I throw my jab, my cross, I slip, bob and weave, come back with the hook, come back with the cross, pivot again, boom and throw my round kick. I'll see you guys next time.